Dans cette vidéo co-présentée avec notre partenaire Letton, l'un des meilleurs experts immobiliers de Riga, nous allons discuter de la façon d'investir sur le marché immobilier Letton, que ce soit du budget, des revenus locatifs, du processus d'achat et même du financement. On commence tout de suite avec la première question, que doit acheter un investisseur en Lettonie C'est parti And it's better to choose, like you were saying in the, in the previous video, people um, tend to, to have uh, um, more money, so they have other needs and wants. Um, mm -hmm. Is it better to invest in old buildings, in new buildings? What's, what's the most sought after uh, type of, of uh, property? I think if, if the building is renovated, uh, so it's, it's better value in the future, in the main center, it will okay. be old building. Because in the main center, new projects are not so much and they're really expensive. So the yield will be lower. Yeah? Okay. Uh, but of course, it depends from the needs and how people uh, understand the product, I would say. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Somebody likes just new projects, somebody understands more this uh, all. But if, if the main issues are covered in renovation process, which are uh, communications, facade, some replanning, so it's... Uh, I would I would suggest an uh, older buildings because you know that always in the value there'll be because old buildings are, are historical histor historical and they're just as much as they are yeah and you new, cannot new, build yeah, more, more and many more yeah. Yeah. okay so the, the, it's limited in, yeah, in supply yeah, yeah. so I would say like this okay wonderful and and what would be the the global budget for say for example a seventy five thousand Uh, your apartment, uh, I think it's one bedroom, one, one stu studio, one, one yeah, bedroom. I would say one studio, one so bedroom. Acquisition cost, mm, renovation, for example, like the one um, we visited yesterday. You are kind enough to show us uh, all the options. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm making some, uh, some incrustations on, on screen. But um, yeah, what, what's the total? total um, cost associated with, with buying this type of Yeah, for instance, we offer a lot of buildings where you can buy with white finish, sort of, yeah? And okay. you can fin finish up yourself, or we can help with that. For instance, you can buy a uh, 25 square meter apartment for uh, about 50,000, mm -hmm. and then you uh, invest more, about uh, 500 per square meter, five to 600, depends on the furniture, or kitchen, etc. And, uh, and then total you get uh, something about 80,000. 80, okay. Overall. 500 meters of renovation per meter, uh, 500 euros per meter square in renovation, if it includes electricity and, mm -hmm. and plumbing? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Everything. Really? Okay, in France it's double, for mm -hmm. example. It's 1,000 euros per meter square, mm -hmm. uh, including no, it's included. electricity. It's included. Okay, okay. It's included, yeah. So, yeah. so which, which is more or less in, in In terms of price per meter square, we saw Saturday it was between 1.3 to 2.2. Yeah, in, in, Stab, in Stab Street, yeah. But that, that was not with white finish, it just would, would not finish at all, basically. Okay. Then you, in that, you invest more, like six, seven hundred, yeah. Uh, but if it's already white, white gray finish, yeah, all the communications are done, all the electricity is done, mm -hmm. even, even the, we had the, this Chaka project where the, Inbuilt this um, toilet is, is already done there. Okay. We just add, add, add it. Uh, so uh, it, it will be this 500, maximum 600 together with uh, all the furniture and kitchen. Beautiful. And in terms of uh, rental income, what can we expect? Um, for example, a yearly revenue mm -hmm. in, let's say, long term lease. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you have an idea on, on the short term lease as well, on the short term rental, mm -hmm. what, what would it be? Yeah. What are we looking for, at? For such investment uh, apartments, rental yield will be 6 to 7%. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sure. Before tax? Before tax, yeah. yeah. And, 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 uh, and short term, even could be about 10%. Yeah? Uh, depends from the, 
from uh, from the situation and tourists are back even maybe higher but but that, then then we should achieve okay interesting mm -hmm. interesting the price per night on the short term last time we saw maybe 60 the median price throughout the year and what would be the uh, the fill rate occupancy rate uh, I would say 50 60 euro per per night okay and occupancy overall in total probably will be like 65 percent 65 percent overall the, the mm. price of Estonia. of course there could be spikes in, yeah, in yeah. summertime in summertime it's it's fully booked in summertime. Fully. and and the the low season let's say it's, it's similar to Estonia um, February yeah mm. okay February January maybe. yeah but beginning of January yes but then after that yeah February but March already Beautiful. starting and and how does the buying process work? Can you share maybe how, how to issue an offer, how to make a booking, mm -hmm. what's the notary like, uh, proof of funds, and, and give us sort of a, a timeline? Mm -hmm. where, mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, okay, so it depends again from the project. If the project is uh, already done and you can buy a ready apartment, yeah. or is it still in process, some renovation is still in process, then you okay. usually pay. If it's still in process, then you usually pay 10% reserva reservation fee. Yes. And then uh, then you wait, I don't know, when it's finished, yep. maybe three months, and then you go to notary. 90% balance. Yeah. Then you then you sign purchase agreement by notary. Yep. Uh, and, and you pay notary uh, expenses, which, which is about uh, 150 to 200. But 150 to 200 euros? Yeah. So it's... One one percent of the property value, but, but that's not it. No, that's not not only only that. Okay. And then and then you pay one point five percent government tax. Mm. Okay, so it's three percent from the purchase price. Three percent all, all all in all. Mm, no, no, less should be less. Two point two maximum, I would say, with all the expenses. With the state fee and so. Yeah. On. Wow. Okay. So in France, it's seven seven yeah. to ten percent. Yeah, but uh, so we have we had uh, this year. The law has come better. We used to have two percent. Now it's one point five percent. Okay, so notary fee. Yeah, it's not notary. It's a state state fee. Oh, the state, state fee. Okay, state fee. The stamp state, fee. State, yeah, tax for for buying. A notary okay. is this hundred fifty to two hundred euros, depends from the total amount and right. some other issues. Do they need some bank loan and etc. And uh, for companies, it's two percent. If the company buys apartment, it's two percent. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. So the state makes it easier even for investors to mm -hmm. enter the market. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you're you're saying about uh, uh, sorry, and uh, didn't finish about this. Yeah. And then you can then when you have paid that and and hand in the documents, then it's uh, ten days, and you get uh, and then you get apartment officially. In your hand, so it's really fast. Okay, so there's like um, a visit uh, prior to the notary deal to mm -hmm. make sure that everything is is uh, is um, according to plans. Yeah, then you sign everything. You go. You have documents. You can go yeah. to the land book and sign, and and give you uh, the papers inside. It's easier to just put it in a post box. Really? Yeah. Okay. Really. Then you need to submit the physical paper in order to to be registered. Uh, in yeah, but not. Uh, you can you can uh, do it physically, but also yep. you can ask notary, and he can send in in behalf of your uh, hand. But then you pay some small fifty euros maximum for that. And then you're in the ownership registry. Yeah. How, how long does it take? Is it ten days? Ten days. Ten wow. Days. Okay. Forty five days in Estonia, for example. So, so quicker yeah, here. And for a, and for a second hand property, no new development. Um, how 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 can how fast can it be? Seller is selling, buyer is agreeing on the price. Yeah. Uh, how fast can the deal happen? If it's no loan involved, it's, it's cash money. Yeah, fast. Two days, three days. You, wow. you go and Crazy. sign and three months. Just, just, three just months. how fast you can get to the notary? <laughs> yeah, because actually notaries are quite busy at the moment. Yeah, yeah for sure. Really, Market is still is still booming, but we we have our own notaries where usually we get in in, in this one week's time, so it's not one week. Beautiful, and you, you said it's a, it's a great segue about banks about loans. Can you talk? I know it's a specific topic, but can, can you share a little bit uh, some details? Average rates, is it fixed or adjustable loans? Um, the main banks to talk to. Yeah, the main banks similar like I think Estonia. We have all the Swedish banks, Swedbank, Sebank. Uh, um, Illuminor Bank and our our local uh, Citadella Bank. Uh, 
Citadel. So the the average rates are 1.7 to 2 percent. That's okay. for locals. Yeah. Okay. Some locals could get even 1.5. Individual buyers. Individual buyers. Uh, for companies, it is a little bit higher. Uh, could be about 2.5 percent. Wow, that's competitive. Yeah. But uh, but for the companies to get a loan, you should have some track record, like right. you know, one two years that you can deal with real estate, you understand the market, mm -hmm. you understand what you're doing, or you have some help, helper in, in, in our uh, face, like in, in uh, representing uh, the owners and yep. things like that. So I can't say that it's so easy to get along for, no, 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 for, for sure. international, but uh, if we're talking about this KYC, so uh, it's uh, again, uh, not so hard. Of course, bank, banks ask them also, we as agents ask them. To and they send evaluator to evaluate the deal as well when there's a bank involved, for example? Yeah. yeah? yeah. And they're, they're fast? Mm. Depends again Depends. from the company. Or we can uh, uh, hire a, a private evaluator from you maybe? Um, yeah, but uh, we, we, we don't do official valuation ourselves, but we collaborate with different companies. Yeah. Uh, probably, usually they say two weeks, but mm -hmm. uh, could be one week, but, uh, but right, two okay. weeks. Two weeks should, should, should be. And it costs uh, for apartment about uh, 180 euros. 180 euros. Okay. Yeah, okay. Something like Estonia that. is 200. And, uh, and, and, and for houses, it's 250, 350. And of course, depends how um, what is the portfolio. If it's one apartment, two, maybe the floor, you can buy mm -hmm. whole floor. So that's good. Yeah. That's good. Thank you so much. Very, uh, very informative. So, um, yeah, faster than Estonia, more price competitive. Better entry points um, and, and same potential for growth. Yeah, potential, big potential for growth. Amazing. Si vous avez aimé cette stratégie, vous aimerez la prochaine vidéo, croyez-moi. Ensuite, nous vous présentons le cabinet Degils pour que vous puissiez à votre tour trouver un professionnel afin d'investir dans l'immobilier en Lettonie judicieusement et légalement. C'est disponible uniquement pour les membres privés de notre programme phare Life Invest Heritage qui est un cours en ligne qui vous apprend à vous installer et à investir à l'international. Donc, si vous n'êtes pas encore membre, eh bien, commencez par y adhérer en cliquant sur le premier lien ci-dessous. Et si vous voulez que je sois votre interlocuteur unique pour superviser chaque étape de votre investissement en langue française, eh bien, choisissez Life Invest Elite, lien en description de cette vidéo également. Bons investissements Comment est-ce que Life Invest peut vous aider Trois possibilités. La première, abonnez-vous à la chaîne et activez les notifications pour être sûr de ne jamais manquer une de mes nouvelles vidéos. La seconde, munissez-vous d'un exemplaire de ce livre bleu, Opération Silicon Valley UE. J'ai résumé mes années d'expérience à entreprendre et investir en Estonie et les stratégies exactes que vous pouvez mettre en place pour établir votre plan d'action Life Invest. Et enfin, si vous avez un besoin urgent, si vous avez besoin d'aide pour trouver une solution dès maintenant, que ce soit pour payer moins d'impôts, pour développer votre entreprise, votre patrimoine plus rapidement ou encore instaurer un mode de vie qui vous fait vibrer, Allez dans la description de cette vidéo ci-dessous pour découvrir nos programmes.